I'm here with Ben Jensen of Cimarron Traders. Ben, tell us if you feature the great trailer. Well, thank you, Ken. I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, today we're going to look at the Cimarron trailer, some of the construction and how it's built, some of the finer points that separate Cimarron from the competition. Um, one thing I always tell customers to do is to look at the things you're going to use on your trailer every time. Every time I load my horses, I'm going to be opening and closing this door several times during a trip. Um, we take a lot of pride in the construction and the craftsmanship of our doors. Um, doors is a way that you could easily save money when you're building a trailer, or it's a way to build a premium product that's going to last for several years. If you look at the construction of my doors and the TIG welds, uh, we have certain welders in our shop that we only allow to build doors. Uh, we have this all aluminum construction frame that's six and three quarters of an inch wide here. Uh, this whole rectangular frame surrounds the window. Our hinges are welded on. We believe that a door should be welded to a hinge rather than riveted to a hinge or screwed to a hinge. All my hinges have grease certs. And that's something that's going to keep this door working for years to come. Uh, they all work good when they're new, but we want to build a trailer that's going to last for, for years, something you can pass on to the next generation. Operation of my door is very simple. The latch here on the side, there's no cables to break, no springs to break. Just open the latch, let this door down. We have our aluminum safety bar grill that we build in our shop. Where my craftsmen build this there at the Cimarron plant. It's all one inch square tubing with the aluminum bars welded in here vertical so that the horses can't grab onto them. The thing I love about these bars, when they're heavy duty, I can shake this whole trailer. Yeah, that looks good. They're not going to get torn up. Let this bar down. All I have to do is lift the door up until the nylon there reaches that little groove in the track. I can let this bar down. It's simple, it's easy, there's no cables to break, no springs, no latches. It's just very simple mechanics there. We also want to keep this trailer as quiet as we can. That's going to reduce the stress on your horses. That's why we have the nylon there to eliminate metal to metal contact. So, oh, that's good. Nice big radiuses. We really want to eliminate any sharp edges in the trailer. Right, that's nice being round like that. That looks good. So, pretty simple operation. Just lift that up, lift it up in, close your door. Gives a lot of airflow in those hot summer months. One thing I forgot to tell you is about my striker plates. That's a stainless steel plate on this, so you can always keep that door adjusted. Just like a good car door, you want that automotive fit. Right. You, know, you want to hear the air. But another feature that's going to be there for years, this trailer can keep those doors adjusted and fitting properly. All the weather stripping is here on the door, so when it's closed, that weather stripping is not exposed to any sunlight. And it's not out here on the edge where a horse can rev up against it and tear it off. Oh yeah, that's good. That's great. Just a door, but a lot of design work goes into that. Right. Is this part of the vibration thing? Is that a... It's a rub tab. That bumper, when this is down, that deadens the oh. sound of that. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, no metal to metal contact. That's good. You want a quiet trailer. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be riding around a tin can. That'd be bad. Yes, sir. Looks great. Looks like you got replaceable tie downs on the side. Yes, sir. We have our replaceable tie on loops here, and, and I have customers ask me about that all often. You know, I had I had one break when their horse really pulled back or got rank. And they get frustrated, I'll be glad to send them another tie loop. Those things are easy to replace. Personally, I'd rather have a tie loop that could break and let that horse get free rather than one that's welded and risk the chance of that horse flipping over, getting a leg under the trailer, or, or having causing more damage to themselves. Um, these are very strong, they work great, they're very easy replaceable. Torx head, bolt there. Now that's a triple frame door, right? So there's like three different frameworks around the door? Yes, sir. All these doors, this extrusion that builds this door is actually six and three quarters of an inch wide and it's hollow in the center, much like a rectangular tube. That's what keeps this door from having any flex to it. Right. And all doors are insulated. This door has the window cut into it. They're gonna overlap and seal. The seal touches here on the door jam. Yeah. That's good. It should seal real real well for the winter and for the dust and all the, the nonsense, the weather. Keep yes, the sir. weather out. That's why you buy an enclosed trailer. Right. <laughs> and if you look at my doors, they have plenty of clearance around, but they stay square in their frames. A lot of design just in the simple part of the door here again something you're going to use every time you load your horses here so you want it to last and, and be worthy of the trailer it's in oh yeah the welds the welds are art they look like a oh, I, I can't do that but <laughs> thankfully we have great employees and crafts from there at Cimarron that take a lot of pride in their work well cool this is the stock trailer or this is a show stock trailer Kent, this is a product we were really excited about at Cimarron Trailers. This product is a Kirk Steerwalt Signature Series show cattle trailer. Kirk Steerwalt is an ambassador for us, and Kirk has been in the livestock industry for over 25 years doing clinics and demonstrations across the country. 
Uh, he's very well respected and well renowned in the show cattle industry. We work with Kurt as an ambassador to help us design products for the show cattle industry. Uh, we have some specific items, some options on this trailer that we've customized for that. We have also have several features of our standard livestock trailer here. Uh, some of the things on this particular Steerwalt series of trailers are very functional is our exterior tie rails. We have a high tie rail so that when you want your cattle to be standing at the trailer, you can tie them up outside. And then a low tie rail down here so the cattle can lay down at night if you need to tie to your oh, trailer yeah. outside. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, this trailer has the polished aluminum side slats to give you a lot of bling and, and yeah. that polished look. <laughs> it's going gorgeous. Up the yes, it is. Uh, we have plexiglass and all the air openings. And on this trailer, we have three air openings two up here, which, which is very common, and then another one here, 28 inches above the floor. This is a smaller air gap, just two inches, but if you're in the hot country in Oklahoma or Texas or traveling down there, you can open this, take this plexiglass out, and get more airflow down there to the animals and help keep them cool while you're traveling. So. Makes sense. Yeah, it's a gorgeous trailer. Well, let's go look at the gate in the back. Okay, sounds good. The show trailer, the cattle show trailer, you also make a pig show trailer too, don't you? Yes, sir, we do. That's our show star trailer, and that trailer has a post throughout the trailer with individual gates. And we have individual compartments for the show pigs, and they'll be like a four foot by four foot pin, or we'll have an alleyway pin. Uh, you can really reconfigure them several ways to be able to divide your show animals. And they're also all removable so that you can use that to haul some calves or haul your lawnmower. I mean, these trailers are a lot of money, you want to be able to do several things with them. Oh, sure. And then this is the cattle one. This has the sliding center gate. Uh, how does that work? You have to unlatch it, or what do you do? Yes, sir. As you see, we have these four spring loaded latches on the walls and they clamp around the post. We have a UHMW, a thick UHMW channel that just goes around the post. So there's no holes to line up. So as this trailer gets older, as you use it for several years, you don't have to worry about holes wearing out. And these posts are set every 12 inches so that you can set this gate at 12 inch increments. Oh, that's nice. That's, you, that's I'm sure you've hauled loads where you'd like to be able to just have a small compartment for a couple of calves and more cows behind it. Yeah. Kind of the same concept. You, you're not set at one location on that gate. And the great thing about it too, our gates travel on this overhead track. It's not fixed or anything on the wall. So we have a side ramp and a side access door on this trailer. We'll unlatch this here in a minute and move it all the way to the front so you could have one big compartment here and this gate's out of your way. Well, that's nice. So I, I could have used this last year. I got kicked by a 600 pound steer because I couldn't get the space small enough for him. And he got, you know, got too far away from me. You bet. Well, we, let's take these latches. We have a safety here. Just push this up again. You want to get that side? And Flip that up and then these latches just pull back and rotate and they'll lock and open. Yeah. Same thing on the bottom. And then this thing rolls so easy with those nylon roller bearings. I mean, oh yeah. My seven-year-old son, he can help move this gate here without any trouble. You can put that all the way through the wall. Yeah. In, it is secure and you have this whole 15 foot compartment here that you can, can load cattle or whatever cool. you need to. Fill it full of hay. Yep, and it went right past that ramp. So, Well that's good, yeah, it gives you the ramp access. Yes, now and this is the same roof that all Simrons have, the, is it a fiberglass honeycomb or what do you guys call it? Yes, it's our fiberglass reinforced honeycomb roof. It's a half an inch thick and it has an R3 thermal value to it. Basically it keeps this trailer about 20% cooler in the summer. That's a huge factor when it's 100 yeah. degrees outside. <laughs> I mean, this is really a thermal barrier. The, the aluminum is a great product, but think about all of our cooking utensils at home too. A lot of them are aluminum. They transfer that heat really quick. Yeah. But this fiberglass insulated roof, it stops the heat transfer. It's going to keep your trailer quiet. It's going to keep your trailer cool on your animals. What are these giant dome lights? These are big lights in here. <laughs> oh, these here at the show are at the National Western Stock Show, and these are some lights we just added to help oh, okay. show this product. <laughs> so. But the LED oh, lights here on the oh, side. Yeah, see the yeah, LED lights. Yeah, those are a great option. We're doing a lot of those in our trailers now. They draw, you know, a tenth the, the power. Uh, they run cool and uh, they have a neat look to them, too. Oh, yeah. Now the bows closer together on a stock trailer than they are on a horse trailer? Or? Yes, sir. A little bit closer. We're going to be about 24 to 30 inches on a stock trailer. Uh, just help reinforce this trailer as much as we can. We know that they're going to get loaded to capacity and then be empty. So a stock trailer gets a lot of abuse. Yeah, and horses will actually ride fairly still. Cattle dance all the time during a trailer. They never <laughs> stop moving. That's just how cattle are. Yes, sir. So. Well, cool. Awesome. Yeah, this is unusual. You don't always see a rollover trailer in a booth. It stops traffic. But anyway, we're here at the National Western Stock Show in TransWest Truck Trader RV's booth. 
Uh, it's easy to get to. It's pretty cool. And this is a Cimarron. Yes, sir. Is it a stock trailer or what trailer is it? This is a Cimarron stock combo trailer, but the foundation of all Cimarron trailers are the same. And that's one thing we wanted to show here at the stock show is how our floor is constructed and the main beam of the trailer, how the axles are attached to it, the wiring in the conduit. And um, the idea of flipping one on its side sounded kind of crazy at first, but then we engineered a mechanism to do it and it's been a lot of fun. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's one way to look at the, how, the, how strong the floor is. How far apart are the I-beams? <clears throat> Excuse me, Kent, the I-beams are four inches apart. Four inches, yep. okay. That's, that's an extruded piece, and then each piece is a, what, a foot, a foot long? Yes, yeah, so each piece runs across the width of the trailer, and the I-beams are extruded, they're part of the floor itself, so you don't have vibration between the I-beams and the, the floor board. These tongue and groove together, top and bottom, just like a piece of lumber, but that interlocks the floor. We weld underneath in that groove. As you see underneath here, these welds, that's where we attach it. But that builds the firm foundation of a Cimarron trailer. And with supports every four inches, if you can imagine that, you're always gonna have a horse's hoof over support. Yeah. They're not just riding on a flat sheet. That's so. good. And that's ribbed on top. Is that to keep the mats from moving around or what's the purpose of the ribs? Well, the ribs here gives several things. It gives us a, a pattern on top. It gives us some ventilation underneath those mats where those mats just aren't on a flat surface. If you, you know, like a, a piece of paper on a table. When it's wet, it's gonna be stuck to that table. If you can keep some air underneath it, that helps that dry out. Okay. And so we've got some traction there though on trailers that don't have floor mats, so we have that ribbed traction. Well, that's cool, that's cool. That's, uh, that looks <laughs> awesome. I can see from here how, the, how your tail end works. It's like a skid plate. It's all reinforced where the bumper rail goes. Yes, that plate tongue and grooves into the same floor material. It has the same grooves to line up and everything just stacks together. You can see how our Craftsman, even though this is on the bottom of the trailer that's never going to be probably ever seen by a right. customer, we still weld, keep everything spaced out, keep everything uniform. That's just some of the pride in the craftsmanship we have at Cimarron. What Cimarron does on the floor, they have these four inch I-beams, but they're tongue and grooved together and welded. So this means your floor is not going to warp, it's not going to you know, get out of uh, level, it's always going to be a nice straight flat floor. Those ribs on top, they help ventilate it, as uh, Ben explained keeps the uh, lets the water escape and lets it uh, evaporate out instead of having the mat stuck flat on a flat surface. Now, it's a great floor. You're not going to find anything better than this. Uh, it's, it's a well extruded floor to last you decades and generations. So this is <laughs> this is easy to see. The roof's upside down or on its side so we can walk right up to it. We've got a giant whiteboard here. We just need some markers yeah. but that's <laughs> so it's just how well this is made. And this is a half inch thick fiberglass honeycomb with like a gel coat on it? Yeah, the, the core of the panel is a half inch thick uh, honeycomb polypropylene core and then fiberglass woven woven matting on each side of that and then gel coated. That's what gives us this white bright finish, uh, smooth just like a, a boat finish more or less, Kent. Uh, this white's going to reflect a lot of the sunlight and with that half inch thick R3 thermal, R3 thermal value, it's going to stop that heat from penetrating through the trailer compared to aluminum skin type roof trailer where that heat just goes right through it. Right, that's awesome, and that's, you know, that's solid. I've, I've talked to conversion companies, they tell me on a Cimarron they can carry an air conditioner unit and walk right across the trailer. I think about it, where most traders, they have to walk on the bows. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you, you can walk on this trailer roof, uh, hail storms bounce right off of it. Um, just so many advantages to it, keeping the trailer quiet, keeping the trailer cool, keeps your, your animals comfortable during travel. And it's a one-piece roof. Yes, sir, one piece. We get this in sheets 40 foot long, full width. We seal around all the edges, around all the rivets, around all the roof vents, everything is sealed. Um, just a wonderful product. I can, I can go on and on about this all day. And that's that's riveted on? Is that Yes, it's like riveted here at the seams. There's a, a T-shaped capping that goes over it on the edge, and then rivets that go through that whole thing, attaching it to the top rail. And then we use uh, 791 silicone from Dow Corning. It's a neutral cure silicone on all the edges and around all the, the rivet heads. Cool. So 280 pounds of Mr. Truck can walk on this. <laughs> yes, sir. No problem. Awesome. Now, is this is this a replaceable roof if something would happen, like a tornado? or? It can. You know, in, in the bad occasion that you have a, a, a tornado or something unforeseen damages the roof, we can take it off. Even on a living quarters trailer, we can take this roof off from the top side, cut a new roof, and replace it for you. Well, that's great. That's great. Because you got pretty good investment in these, and they're beautiful trailers. <laughs> I want to keep it a long time. Thanks, Ben. Thank you, Ken.